Full Moon Full Stop, December 2017. So let's make it quick. Um, oh, I can't. Difficult. Okay. Imagine you're on a ship, or, or actually a boat. Imagine a boat. You're sitting on a boat, uh, it's made of wood, and you see people drilling holes into this boat. Makes me mad to see people drilling holes in the boat. And I feel like I want to go there and tell them, stop drilling holes in our boat. On the other hand, if I just, you know, shovel enough water, as long as I shovel more water than what is coming in, you know, the boat is not sinking and we would have nothing to worry. Of course, you know, if I shovel water, I cannot paddle. And if we don't paddle, or if I don't paddle, we will not reach our destination. And if there are two destinations to choose from, one which would mean life and one that would mean death, um, you know, like kind of out into the open sea or back to land, um, you know, everybody who paddles matters, right? So um, I feel I, I need to paddle. I shouldn't be busy with, you know, plugging holes or shoveling water. And, you know, the worst is every now and then I find myself drilling a hole. You know, like look up and like, oh my God, I got a drill in my hand. Um, and then at the same time, I think like, how did I not notice that I'm drilling a hole? And I realized that, well, it's advertised. It's, it's totally okay. It's legal to drill holes. And the neighbor does it. Everybody does it. Um, and now, you know, fellow humans in, in China and India and the form in the developing world, you know, everybody wants to drill holes because that's what our movies are about. Uh, <laughs> That's our lifestyle, drilling holes, right? Of course, we don't see that actually what we do is drill a hole. We just see the drilling and the action of it. And we, we compare, you know, our styles. We compare um, our, our drills, you know, very fancy drills. And we don't see what that actually does. We don't even see that we are sitting in the boat. That's not what we see in our lives. So the the question that I'm asking myself is like, if I every now and then find myself, you know, having a, a drill in my hand, yeah, example would be, you know, eating avocado that was pl packed in, in plastic and shipped from the other side of the world. You know, that's like one of those things where actually what I'm doing is drilling a hole. Yeah, it's advertised. It's totally legal. Um, but it certainly makes me part of the problem. So it's a lot easier to see when I'm part of the solution. It's very difficult to see when I'm part of the problem. Um, on the other hand, being part of the solution makes me really happy. Whenever I do something that makes me feel being part of the solution, I'm really happy. And I find it so much easier actually to be part of the solution. So I don't want to be really negative about this because, you know, yeah, it happens. I was told that way. That's how I grew up. Um, yet, even though I cannot, I do not yet live a lifestyle that my child can copy, at least I can show what it means to be aware. I can show um, what it means to take responsibility. I can show what it means to be optimistic, to take a situation in the hand, in your own hands, and try to solve it. So that's something that he can copy. And that's what I'm trying really hard to do. So, um, and telling others not to drill holes, I think that's a very, very uh, risky area because nobody likes being told what to do or what not to do. So, um, be the example you want to see in the world. Thank you, Gandhi, for these words. Yeah, that's what to do. So, I shovel consciously, I, I paddle, and I, um, I plug holes even though every now and then I see myself with a drill in my hand, old habits or lack of opportunities as well. So last full moon, full stop, um, December, beginning of December, full moon, full stop means doing one day nothing. So that means not being part of the problem. <laughs> That's already good. Like, even though it maybe doesn't mean that I'm part of the solution, at least doing nothing for one day makes me part makes that I'm not part of the problem because I'm not doing any harm. So one day of not using fossil fuels, one day of not using money, um, and one day of just reconnecting, thinking, observing, and making a plan for the next days, weeks, month, just for the next month until the next full moon full stop. So 
and this full moon full star was somehow colored by the Christmas theme and um, actually right now traveling to to my parents um, and like I look at reducing I look at reconnecting reconnecting and repairing that's kind of my three things for the Christmas presents so I reduced the amount of money I spent I reduced the amount of resources needed for the Christmas presents that means I don't buy anything new no new Christmas presents self-made repaired or second-hand um, but I think the best Christmas presents at least what I like the most to get the Christmas presents I enjoy the most to give and to get is time time spent with somebody I enjoy with spending time with some time spent with somebody with who I haven't spent time in a long time so that's spending time with family spending time with friends um, making some food together meeting going for walks whatever and I think a very crucial thing also is to not focus too much on the Christmas thing to me it's important to give when you feel it's time to give and it doesn't need to be at Christmas thank you and that's it for full moon December 2017 next full moon 2nd of January 2018 hashtag full moon full stop please please join hope this video wasn't too long all the best bye bye love you